Jesus. Are you kidding me? Oh, hello. Welcome. And uh, as always, I'm so glad that you're here with me right now, but I'm particularly glad that you are here with me in this exact moment because I'm in desperate need of very, very good vibes right now. So much so that at the ungodly hour of 7.43 a.m., I just had $86 worth of flowers delivered to my house. There, there's some back there. I, I don't even like flowers. I, I don't even own vases. They're just in paper towel rolls. I just ordered them to have good vibes and life and a living things around, 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 around me right now because I need that. And I'll tell you why. It's actually not as sad as it sounds. You see, I need good vibes right now because of the video that you are about to watch. You see, for the past 20 nights, I have been sitting right here in this chair, scared out of my mind, every night editing the hospital exploration part of this video. And within that footage, I have discovered things so unsettling that they have brought tears to my uh, actual eye eyeballs and made my heart do things that made me Google, am I dying right now? So many scary things, which you will soon see for yourself, for better or for worse. And you know what's funny is that this video, which has been scaring me to the the point of numbness for the past 20 days actually started as a joyous celebration of returning to life and being able to get out into the world again. After the year and a half of weirdness and general isolation that myself and we all just went through, I thought to myself, you know what, Garrett, it's time to get out of the house and get out there into the world. Get some life, you know? So, what did I choose to do? In fact, I'll make this fun for you here. I'll give you three options. You tell me which one that you think I chose to do to get some fun in my life. A. A sun-soaked tropical vacation. B. A backpacking trip through Europe. Or C, gaining access to and staying overnight in an abandoned, severely haunted hospital built in the 1800s, where an estimated 25,000 people have died, people constantly report being physically attacked by violent dark entities, and is said to be one of the most violently haunted locations in all of America. It's C, of course. Isn't that awful? Oh, but there's more to it than that. I've actually been in that hospital before and have already had nightmare-inducing, horrible experiences inside of there, which makes my choice to return so much worse. You see, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that this video is based on a tweet. Kind of. On January 20th, 2020, I tweeted this. If you're seeing this at night or scare easily, maybe don't finish reading this tweet. I'm editing a video right now about exploring an abandoned hospital built in the 1890s, and when I caught this in one of the video frames, I legit felt sick and had to stop editing for the night. And that's a true story. Perhaps you noticed the evil demon-like figure in the window making direct eye contact with the camera. I sure did. And according to Twitter analytics, so did 5.5 million others. So of course, where's the video? Where's the video? I was talking about in that tweet. What happened to it? Well, I'm not proud of this, but that's something that I've left people wondering for over a year now. And the answer is that that video is gone, completely, forever, destroyed, I think. I'll make this quick. I got access to this severely haunted hospital called St. Ignatius in Colfax, Washington, ages ago. I got in there with my brother, and I tried to film this video once upon a time, but it went wrong, very wrong. I went in with my trusty Canon camera, the same one that I'm using right now that I've shot on for three years and has never given me a day of problems, but inside St. Ignatius, it completely failed me. It kept turning off randomly in the middle of shooting, so I ended up improvising and trying to shoot the video on my brother's iPhone 6. So needless to say, the video ended up looking and sounding awful. So I got disheartened and ignored the footage for like two months, and then quarantine happened, and I attempted to dive back in and go, you know what? I'm gonna make this video work. I don't care how bad the footage looks. But of course, since I'm me, I had accidentally deleted the entire Final Cut library a few weeks previous when cleaning up my computer. In fact, the only remaining images from that entire shoot are this image from this tweet and this four second video of my dumbass brother scaring me to death in the hospital. <laughs> So now you know about what happened in the past, and you'll hear more about that experience throughout this video. You see, I'm actually really glad because I did it a lot better this time. I returned to St. Ignatius this time, ready to battle any weird ghost energies that want to mess with my camera equipment. But this time with backup cameras, and most importantly, one of the most technologically competent men on the planet, my very good friend, Andrew Sawicki, who I kind of tricked into coming with me, but more on that later. <laughs> oh, and believe me when I say this time, this experience in St. Ignatius was about a thousand times more horrifying than last time. And if you're watching this at night, good luck. Luck. Although I will say it started really fun and then it gets scary as it goes. You'll see. But before I throw you headfirst into this experience, I have something really, really fun and oddly unexpected to tell you that also really scares me but makes me equally excited because it gives me a chance to hang out with you and talk about ghosts and horrifying things in a very scary place. So because of the wonderful sponsor of this video right now, Discord, I <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this, but I will be returning to St. Ignatius Hospital on July 15th. But this time I'm taking you with me. Inside of the most horrible part of the building, the morgue. 
at night alone. And that is because Discord is launching an incredible new feature called Stage Channels. And Stage Channels are for audio only conversation and they allow audience members to join in on the conversation on any topic. But since I am me and I do the most approximately all of the time, I said, sure, Discord, I'll do a live Stage Channel event, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it in an abandoned morgue beneath a violently haunted hospital to discuss ghost stories and all sorts of horrifying things with you because there is something wrong with me. I don't know why I'm going to do this. So please, for the love of God, don't let me be alone in there and join me on July 15th at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time for my Discord stage event. Mark your calendars if you use calendars, which if you do, that's very responsible. All you need is a Discord account, which is free, and it takes less than 15 seconds to join. So click the link in the description and I will see you on the other side on July 15th. Now, in order for you to understand why I'm so frightened to return to that place, Congratulations, you're getting thrown headfirst into the video pretty much now. Buckle up, and if you're watching at night, like I said, good luck. And I will see you after. You see, this all started three weeks ago when I asked my friend Andrew Sawicki if he'd join me in Washington to film a video in an abandoned building. I might have not mentioned the violently haunted part, but luckily for me, he said yes and agreed to meet me the next morning for our flight to Washington. And then, it was time to hop on the plane. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, come on. <laughs> it's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. You think that's completely necessary? Yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay Good night Weird like documentary channel Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Washington. We're gonna hit this ghost hospital. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? My name's Garrett and welcome to Washington where I'd say it's feeling kind of ghosty and I'm feeling kind of hosty. <laughs> Doesn't look like I thought. Hey, Michael. I was just. Uh, we're out here right now. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, cool. I'll see you in a second. Just like the most needlessly dramatic person, he went to Southwest. <laughs> I, I can't believe he's doing this to me. <laughs> oh, who, your uncle? He graciously came to pick you up. You're complaining because he went to the wrong. You're airline? taking sides. <laughs> this is what you do. <laughs> just the worst. Welcome to Spokane, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? 
We're here at my uncle's place in Washington. Really nice home they got here. And uh, this is where we're gonna be before our big uh, journey tomorrow to St. Ignatius Hospital. Andrew, really excited, just arrived. Got my sandies on, ready for adventure. Do you want to see me shoot a hoop? Sure. I did mess up the first time, but I'm actually really good. You <laughs> think just a YouTuber could do this? Almost. Did I make it? No. <laughs> oh my God. I have everything prepared. This is our base station, dude. We have the whole basement to ourselves in there. Um, are you? I wanted to ask you personally, just so people can hear you. Are you afraid of the actual hospital? Uh, I mean, if it was like super, super actually haunted, that would be one thing. Yeah, that would be kind of scary. No, 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 no. It's not like super, super actually haunted. Yeah, no, I, no, I. What's up? You got an itch or something? Oh, sorry, the sun. So yeah, I'll tell you more about the hospital. I'll tell you more about the hospital, and then oh, dude, they have con uh, kayaks, and I can do it. Ouch! Listen, listen. There's plenty of activities around here until tomorrow for our big journey. Uh, watch me make the shot. Michael Jordan. So I'm gonna show you my, my life up here before we go on our big haunted hospital journey tomorrow. Washington is a place I like to come and unplug. I come up here all the time. I get away from LA. Expelliarmus! I like to come up here, just do some Washington natural activities. That's called taking care of business. Vibe up here, you know. Expect El Patronum! I've climbed that wall before. Welcome to my world. Just the sun, man. <laughs> I normally wouldn't sweat this much, but this elevation. I'm more in shape than I've ever been, and this elevation is killing me. Welcome to Washington. Ouch. No, no, no. Oh, I'll tell you more about the hospital. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know nothing about it. It's not that haunted. It's not that haunted. It's not that scary. I keep saying that. What are you doing? You have allergies out here? I have Claritin. program 73 questions ask me a question ask me a couple questions come on welcome to my home i'll show you around what's your favorite childhood memory falling off a zip line and shattering my arm in four places sorry let me just get past here do you have any pets pets uh yeah <laughs> it's too loud it sucks <laughs> it's a wind it's a couple that you see what about just behind me what if they were freaking doing it Were they really? Not the chill ones. Come on, loser. What are you worried about? Safety? <sighs> Saint Ignatius, Andrew. Built in the very, very, very late 1800s. It was a hospital where I've heard an estimated 25,000 people have passed away in there. And if you think of like places like, you know, Hotel Cecil and these places where like, you know, 20 to 25 people have passed away and it's still like haunted, holy smokes. So yeah, St. Ignatius, it's been abandoned for 20 years. I don't want you to be too freaked out by it, but people have reported some activities in there. Um, sometimes people will be, their physical contact will be made with them. Yeah, but you said it's not that scary though. It was scary. It was scary is relative. Anyways, don't worry about it. Who's to say? I don't know what we're gonna experience in there, but I am excited about it. Um, 
yeah, I've been in before, but nothing like this. It was, it was, it was kind of sloppy before and quick. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> to have like my night last night in West Hollywood. <clears throat> What's that? Sorry. I was like, I think it was a bird or something. Yeah, yeah. Last time I was in there, it was mm, not that scary and a little bit of a mess. And by that, I mean, I had to go in with a police officer for the first time to like see the place. I had to go in with a tour guide. They had to make sure it was safe. The tour guide was also, uh, she, there was, she was friends with some of the people who have passed away in there. So she was like, oh, the spirits are very friendly to me. But this time, what's different and what is so sick about this, we don't have people with us. It's just you and I, because my friend Austin purchased the building and he's very cool. And I said, Austin, can it just be my friend Andrew and I? Just me and him overnight in the hospital. And I honestly thought he was gonna say no. <laughs> I thought it'd be like, no, there's a lot of things in the way of that. I wish we could, I wish we could. But he was like, yeah, man, we'll give you the keys. We'll meet you there and give you the keys. So tomorrow, no friendly tour guides, <laughs> no friends of the spirits, no electricity, no nothing. Just you and I overnight in St. Ignatius. Um, what I've read to be the seventh the most haunted location in America. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. I mean, that stuff probably doesn't really happen that often, I'm assuming, which is why I'm not really thinking that much about it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what I want to do when I go inside of St. Ignatius, Andrew, what I want to do with you is basically just start from the bottom. Pretty scary location I chose, huh? Yeah. Set this up. <laughs> I thought we were just having this nice conversation about like hospital, what we're trying to do in there. 30,000 BMXers. <laughs> so um, when we get in to the hospital, I think that we should just go by floor by floor. There's uh, four floors, Andrew, and then the fifth one, which is the nun's quarters. And apparently, from what I've read from a lot of people, is that each floor gets a little progressively a little more haunted because each thing was used for different things, surgery rooms, hospice where people passed away. And apparently the worst one is the fifth floor, which is a little bit smaller than all the other floors and it's the nuns quarters, which is where all the nuns used to live that watched over St. Ignatius. And people say that they are still in there. <laughs> and the first time I went in there when it was crazy with all the people and everything, I could not enter the fifth floor. I could not go into the nuns' quarters. And I don't mean because someone said no, I just, I was too frightened. There was, I was just too scared. So I want to face my fears and go back in there. And people do say it gets more terrifying the more you go up. We'll see. But I do know for a fact that the fifth floor is like a problem. There's no other way to say that. But yeah, kind of, you know, facing my fears. I want to do it. I've had six nightmares about that fifth floor. You have dreams about this? Did it look cool like a dream? Yeah. Okay. Um, no joke though, it is, it's very scary. Yeah. Then you go back on the rock up there? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm remembering those nightmares right now. Uh, I don't wanna freak you out, I don't wanna freak you out. It's just spooky. But yeah, fifth floor is nuns quarters is what I'm really spooked out by. And there's a morgue too, by the way. <laughs> Wait, so what's the goal? The goal is just literally to make it to the top without getting so scared that we leave before? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so we going tomorrow? <laughs> Wait, what floor was that, uh, where you took that picture? That was on the third floor. Yeah, that was interesting. I showed Val that picture, by the way. The woman who's gone in there, you know, the tour guide for that place. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, this spirit, what she thinks is that spirit named Michael, she was like, he doesn't stick around. He's all over that place. Jeez. Which is very scary. But that picture is disgusting. I think about that picture a lot. The scariest part of that is his eye contact in that picture, it's not on me. It's like into the camera, like the person seeing it. That's what's so disgusting to me about that picture. But it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be, it'll be good. <laughs> 
<laughs> Time we going. We'll get there with a little bit of daylight, Andrew, so you can see the outside and we can get prepared. We're gonna... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, sorry, I think you said what time we're going. We're not going at, uh... Now listen, I will say in the Wait, what are you saying? We're gonna go at night, the whole thing? The whole time we're gonna be there is gonna be at night? So it's gonna be dark? I guess now that I think about it, I did tell you that we were just gonna be going into it and stuff. I'm Why sorry. do we gotta go at the night? The title of this video... Why are we going on, on top of all this? You're gonna go at night time, too? Come what? on. It won't be that bad. All right, well, if it's not gonna be that bad, that's fine. You good to go? Yes. We're good. But that's tomorrow. We have plenty of time for, I don't know, something else. <sighs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Garrett, what do you do for a living? YouTuber? King of nature? Maybe. You ready for tomorrow morning, Andrew? Where our journey begins, you and I, in the darkest, darkest, abandoned asylum you've ever seen, ever. What's that? Hey, we Andrew, it's me keeping my balance on a canoe, on a kayak, <laughs> okay? God, enough inquisitions. What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? Yeah, I'm ready for it, as long as I'm not gonna get like hurt or anything. Um, I mean, there's a lot of broken glass and a lot of holes in the floors and a lot of sort of like asbestos sort of things and a lot of old chemicals that weren't really regulated and a lot of falling bricks and lead-based paint and uh, a lot of people who actually, I think, have probably been injured and certainly 25,000 who have died in there in the past, but we have flashlights. Watch this. Are you good? Yeah, sorry. I think it was like a, it was like the sun or something got in my eyes. Tomorrow we go. Andrew, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for an adventure. <laughs> oh god, oh no. Oh, oh, do you know how many bodies they found in this river? <laughs> oh god, oh Jesus, I'm so scared. Oh. Dude, are you good? I can get I can get back on. <clears throat> dude, chill out. No, I don't think out. that's dude, how you chill, Andrew, take it easy. Take it easy, dude. Okay, I'm good. What I was saying is, I don't know about you, but I think a oh, fuck, oh, I'm full. Okay. But the oh, I think a fish touched my foot. Okay, Andrew, stop. You're not being brave. Chill out. Dude, compose yourself. We have an adventure to go on tomorrow, and we need to be, oh, ah, we need to be brave. Sure you're ready for this, man? Andrew, what part about me looks like I'm not ready for this? Oh, <laughs> I'm a guy who looks like he's ready for adventure and brave as thunder. <laughs> Look at that, it looks like a little wand, a little water wand. Imagine me. <laughs> you want me to call somebody? You need some help? Call someone? Andrew, I can get back on this boat in a minute. It's getting kind of dark. Andrew, it's not gonna get dark. I'll be fine. Just chill. I got this. Garrett? Yeah? It's getting really dark now. I, it's fine, Andrew. I can get back on the boat in a second. I can't even see you. I'm fine, Andrew. Okay, Andrew, it's fine. I'm just gonna get in your boat. What are you There's doing? Plenty of room. There's plenty don't, of room. Don't, oh my gosh, we're gonna take this off. You were gonna take no, 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 no,
Okay, yeah, those are in the hospital for sure. This hospital is ranked as number seven most haunted locations in all of America, according to my research. That's not my research. I did that uh, several minutes ago. Now I'm just downloaded this disco, <laughs> this disco ball app. <laughs> oh, it swings with the iPad. Oh my God. But yeah, number seven most haunted locations in America. Pretty creepy. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm reading some comments of people who have been in St. Ignatius before, right now. There's lots of subreddits, there's lots of forums about St. Ignatius, of people who have gone into it for the past 20 years since it's been abandoned. And here's a comment now that says, uh, I would rather die than enter that building again. My sister feels the same way. We were both jerked by the hair backwards. My sister actually fell to the ground and cut her hand on a small piece of glass. I got into St. Ignatius about three years ago on a tour. It didn't feel that scary to me. And then I heard a man's voice immediately to the right of my ear. I never told my friends about that because I didn't want them to think that I was scared. I never want to enter that place again. Jacqueline says, uh, I've done some light ghost hunting before. I tried to go up the stairs and I felt eh, that I felt something trip me when I got to the fourth step and I ran out of there, physically tripped. Some spirits are violent, man. I tried to break into St. Ignatius with my friends uh, in graduation night in 2007. We heard a woman scream directly in front of us. We all looked at each other. <laughs> what is that in your glasses? <laughs> I'm doing research about wait, the hospital. Wait, 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 in your left glasses right there. What's on the screen? We got freaked out, we got creeped out. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, I'm remembering these from memory. So what if I want to have a little fun? I need something lighthearted. I was getting too freaked out reading about the hospital, so I downloaded a disco ball app. Head over to the Supreme Court, take me to there, sue me. Apps are insane, what if it makes the sounds? I will read comments, but this fireworks app, come on. Andrew, what would you do if you were a ghost? Oh, I'd be a, um ocean ghost. Swimming around in the ocean. Oh, eating oysters. Or just being their friends. Or maybe both. You don't get those numbers, you don't please the analytics, you're a failure, and they're all gonna laugh at you. You need to hit one million views in the first day, and if you don't, and your mother had you for no reason. This is what you do, and if you don't, then what are you? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, uh, sorry, dude, I just, I just <laughs> brushed my, I just brushed my teeth. Where's the toothbrush from? Uh, I just, oh, what? Oh, uh, actually, I think it's right there. Sorry, I was like singing a song though. That's what you might have heard. Mm. I was like this new song on the radio. That's like, wow, I forgot how it goes. I was gonna get this. I was gonna get this. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! He heard me. That's my friend. That's my. Friend. What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I was just just gonna see if you were still there. We continue brushing our teeth. <laughs> All right, Andrew, thank you for meeting me outside. I have just prepared some things for our journey today. Can I show you some things? Okay, let's go. Welcome to the ghost lab. I got all this stuff prepared. I got it all set up beautifully. The first time I shot this video was a mess. The audio was going crazy. The video was wow. going crazy. I think it's because ghosts do that. Yeah. Yeah, I hear we're going to have no issues this time. I'm battling it. We have cameras. We have three cameras. I'm going to introduce you right now to the tech. I have so many things. Dude, headbands. <clears throat> Shoot it up. <clears throat> Click it. <clears throat> like this. Constantly, different things.
things, okay? And not only do you have this white light like this, but do you know what ghosts uh, do not run away from? Green light. Really? Yeah, apparently they respond kindly to red and green lights. I have five different ghost-friendly lights, and I have something called the no scare room that I want to do. But the no scare room is basically like a safety room for us. If we get too scared, we run back to it. So I have several things that we're going to put in the no scared room that are going to be like safe. Sure. Like lights, nice. um, good vibes, um, like Charlie's Angels playing on a 17.5 inch DVD player that I brought. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? What's that? So you say you're freaked out, right? Oh my god, I just saw the ghost of a nun. <laughs> Party lights. You understand? Uh, I have over 20 different lights that we could put in the no scared room. I have lounge music. I have Christmas lights. Why do you have Christmas lights? Because that's the opposite of scared. Oh, dude, look at this. Lantern, right? Uh, you go. <laughs> I thought you said the white light wasn't ghost friendly. You're right. <laughs> I've done my research and I know ghosts. <laughs> Me saying that, just sweating. What is that on your head? Oh, this? My wound? Jesus. And I know it's bad. It makes me look like Harry Potter, though, which is kind of tight. No, yeah. What happened is I was um, reaching for some raisin bran. It was on a high shelf in one of those, you know, those like plastic containers that people put like cereal in, like a bunch of cereal. And I was reaching up and trying to get it off with my fingers, and it <laughs> came down and it hit me on the head. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. A little raisin bran scar. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what I'm gonna wear in there. Okay. 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 So, 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 so this is a huge part of this video in general. You all know those ghost shows, Andrew. You know those ghost shows, right? Where it's all green with their lamps and all this oh, stuff. Yeah. Right? Like, there's a tone, and I'm not gonna name any of them by names. Shade free zone. My channel, right? Okay. But it sucks because <laughs> they kind of do this thing where they go into these places and they act like dominant. This week on Spirit Hunters. Janine, we know you died in 1927. Show your face right now on the count of three. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, they get rude to them. Do you know what I mean? I am taking a friendlier approach. Ouch. My approach to going into haunted places, I'm going much more friendly. So I was doing a lot of research to find out how to actually have ghosts present themselves to you. Yeah. So I was typing away on the keyboard like yeah. a madman. And they said you need to adapt to whatever era the ghosts like were in when they were alive, right? Oh. So we're going into a place that was a hospital in the late 1800s. So again, I'm on my computer shredding away. <laughs> And I, fi I find a doctor's costume from like the late 1800s. But so what happens, I went to open up the packages and they sent the wrong thing. And so they sent this uh, coat here, Victorian Gothic steampunk oh, or something. And then this uh, pirate shirt. So oh. this is all that I have to wear in there. And I was oh. actually kind of upset about that at first, but I think that it's actually gonna work in our favor because who doesn't like uh, Gothic steampunk Victorian royalty? Like if you were a ghost and you see this, are you gonna be like, more keen. <laughs> you look no. like a pirate. <laughs> Should I wear that in there? Maybe. Okay, so I've spoken a lot about friendly energies. Um, yeah. Let me see if I forgot anything in here. Um, so, the one thing that I didn't do the first time that I entered this hospital was bring Benjamin because, well, it's a whole thing. Uh, he wants to absorb some spirits in there, so. It's really complicated. But we're gonna bring Benjamin in there. Um, so I've spoken a lot about friendly ghosts, but I need to tell you about something else. I want to be incredibly well prepared for the spirits that might not be so friendly. I know that some ghosts are very angry and might not be coming from a good place. Angry, demonic entities, because Andrew, I've read countless accounts of people and seen videos of them in this place. They get hit, they get what? black eyes, they get pulled into rooms. It's What are you talking about? I haven't told you that yet. It's a huge problem. This place is a huge problem. But don't, this is what I'm telling you. You need to be like. I thought you said this place wasn't that scary. No, no, no. It's disgusting. Dude. Where we're going to end up in the nun's quarters, you have no idea. Okay, so, um. So you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You just didn't ask for the details. You're with me, my guy. You're with me. What do you mean? <laughs> I, well, I thought of this. I have defensive mechanisms in place. I didn't know we were gonna get pulled into rooms and punched in the face by ghosts. Well, I feel like if you would have told me that, I wouldn't have got on a plane and come here. Okay, well things are scary when you're not prepared, Andrew, but we are. Do you want to know why? Say a scary ghost is coming towards you, right? You don't know what to do. You think you're doomed. Fortnite guns! You know what these are full of? Holy water. Come on. <laughs> no, I promise. I had these blessed with holy water. Where did you go get them blessed? <laughs> um... Well, I put a bowl of water in front of a YouTube video with a priest blessing the water. <laughs> so they were blessed in front, you know, by a priest technically, but through a computer screen. Alright? <laughs> no, come on, Andrew, that works, dude, that works, that's valid. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't think it is. No, it is. I don't so, think that's how blessings work. I don't think blessings work through screens that are like pre-recorded videos. Andrew, listen, I know the supernatural. What about this to you looks like you're not in the best hands? <laughs> No, so I know what you're thinking. You're going, okay, 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 what if I'm running and running and running? It's in the dark, I stumble over, you know, one of a, a wheelchair or something and I lose the gun. Stumble over a wheelchair? What is this, stuff in there still? There's so much stuff in there, you have no idea. I didn't know about that added element. No, Andrew, listen, you need to focus. So say, okay, I'm scared. I, I need to focus? You're lucky I don't walk out of here. What with you lying to me about the- <laughs> Andrew, did I lie to you or did I just not tell you? Think about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, listen, I have something that you're not asking about, which is very important. So here's the situation. You're running around. You lose the gun. A spirit's running towards you, okay? A nun. <laughs> Sharp teeth. Oh, hair flying everywhere. Snakes coming out of her eyes. She's possessed as hell, and you know it. So you're running like this, slow motion. <laughs> you strip over a wheelchair. <laughs> you go to the ground, right? Go like this. You go, where's my gun? My holy water gun. I've lost it. I'm defenseless. But because I prepared ankle holster. <laughs> Full of holy water, right here, blast! Like that. She gets blasted back to hell where she belongs. Isn't that sick? You really think this is necessary? Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be like friendly and stuff. Well, if they're not being friendly to us, Andrew, you need to learn in this life that sometimes you have to clap back. He's <laughs> <laughs> clapping back in that costume. <laughs> Um, and by the way, I'm prepared to use the holy water against Benjamin if I have to. Oh, oh my god, we bring a Hot Pocket? I actually didn't bring any snacks so we can steal some from upstairs. Yeah. Oh, this is great, Andrew. Um, so the morgue is really messy. Great. You don't want to touch stuff because you can get cut, but you're my boy and I protect you, so check this out. <laughs> Gripper, look at that. Look at that action. We see a human bone. We're not touching that, we're not gross. We're grabbing it with this. Isn't that sick? Ghost meter. So what is that supposed to do? This is we hold it around and I think it goes boop, 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 when there's a ghost. Jesus. Oh, this was actually given to me by a witch in New Orleans and her husband who went bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> but she said this was some of the best stage around. I have a utility belt, Andrew. Did I tell you about that? I actually don't know exactly how to wear it. She doesn't know if this will fit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my God, did I even tell you about the DVD player? This is for the no scare room. Isn't that sick? <laughs> is it broken? No, it's not broken, Andrew. What the heck is an EVD video? <laughs> I don't know, I think they got that wrong. <laughs> not sure if that's gonna work. I don't know about this, man. I do. Um, the one thing that I didn't think of, Andrew, um, is getting snacks, but my uncle, he has such good snacks so we can sneak up and grab some. Let's start our journey because it is 7.02 right now and I told the woman who's letting us into the hospital that I'd meet her at 7. How far away is it? An hour. <laughs> Um, so let's go steal some snacks from upstairs and then the next thing and then the next thing is we'll be overnight in one of the most haunted locations in America that is also incredibly violent because people get injured in there by spirits. But don't worry because you'll have your pistol. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 back up. Ah, ah. Don't put it in your pocket. Don't put it in your pocket. Jesus. <laughs> Back. I didn't see that. It's locked. <laughs> Let's hit the road. Oh, sorry. Let's hit. Let's hit the road. Oh. Come on. Everyone, buckled up.
Can you put your hands on the wheel? Can you pull? Okay. Ah, to pee so bad. Same. Oh, oh Jesus. Well, be careful with your child back there. Oh, he's all right. You have no idea what he's been through. <laughs> Um, we are going to, I want to go into this at night time, obviously. Um, but right now, I figure let's just walk around it, kind of wait for it to get a little bit darker. Um, we can get in there a little, a little bit before, like night, night time, because right there, Andrew, that little room right there, right in the entrance is that room, so we can set up the, uh, no scared room in there. So yeah, I'll, we're just going to wait for it to get a little bit darker before we even go in to set up the no scared room. <laughs> but yeah, let me, uh, while well, we still have a little bit of daylight, I'll show you the outside a little bit and point out some things. Yeah? Yeah. Well, oh, one piece of spooky trivia is they say cats always like hang out around haunted locations to like protect them or something. In every cemetery, there's like families of cats. There's cats that are attached to graves, cats that are attached to locations. It's incredible. Val was saying the craziest thing, Andrew, is like now they have security cameras around it and all these precautions to keep people out and stuff so they would know if anyone entered. But people still see people all the time in the windows. Sometimes call it in, oh, and they have to call Val. No one's in there. I saw someone in the window. No one's there. It's fine, secure. It's crazy just looking up there. It's so spooky, man. Third floor is supposed to be the worst, and the third floor is where I got that photo on Twitter. She, the guy really? in the window, yeah. So there's these two rooms, 311 and 312, that apparently the most activity is in. Room 311, which was owned by this woman named Rose, and one, 312, which was apparently a very, very, very angry patient named Michael. So we'll go in there, and you know, I'm no expert, but that person in the window in that picture looked pretty angry to me. And if Michael looks like that, I hope we don't see him tonight. <laughs> This is literally the sketchiest thing I've ever seen in my actual I know, life. Dude, Andrew, be careful. This is like the place you could fall and get impaled by something and die. This is not dude. like... Dude, so just be careful. Just the vibe. I have like a pit in my stuff. Like, for instance, nobody should try to walk down steps in here because they're probably rotten, but I'm going to give it a shot. No, 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 don't do it. Well, but Gary, I, no, 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 don't do that. I can't even see you, bro. Don't, don't, don't. Dude, I can like hear it. What are some of the things that have happened in here? This place is a nightmare. It's terrifying. We've been pushed, we've been kicked, we've heard voices. I've seen things running down the hall. Yes, I have it open. Really? Yeah. We'll take a look at that. It's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gonna grab you. It yeah. Feel like something's gonna grab you if you get in there. Andrew, you ready to go into the abandoned <laughs> morgue beneath a Saint Ignatius hospital? So Val, with a b abandoned place like this, is are people breaking in? Is that like a huge problem? Yeah, people break in. We have cameras now, but uh, the police don't even want to go in. They usually wait outside for me until I get them in there. Okay, well here's the keys. Just lock up when you're done. Good luck. Thank you so much. 
Thanks, Val. What is going on, dude? That is like nightmare ammo right there. How was that? You hear that? She in there? Okay. Right now, we should set up the no scared room while we still have a little bit of light. And we're gonna do that right there in that little place, because that, that at the entrance to that, it's not like deep in the hospital or anything. It's just immediately to the right of the entrance. So we could just go in, set it up real quick, and then journey in. Yeah. Well, let's get some flashlights and uh, get it started. Black eyed peas. <laughs> oh, stubborn arm. Okay, Andrew, so. Val told me that we have to, um, you know like in medieval movies when they put like the wood in the door to like block it off? Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's what we have to do in there. Um, when we get in, we have to put like a board in the door. So once we're in, we're in. So do you have everything? Because we're not leaving for the rest of the night. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Let's ride. Weird. <laughs> Yourself, just cut the light off for a sec. Like, cut the light off and look that way. Can't even see it, huh? Not sure. Man, that's where we're going through. But for now, jeez, we're gonna have to go down there. We're walking through there. Sorry, feels like a really bad idea. It's a horrible idea. So I designate this as the no scare room. This room here. So we can take a look at this because it is the not scare. <laughs> Um, okay, so, all right. Is it, what, what's happening? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm sure the door is just on a slant. No scared room. <laughs> Take it easy, Andrew. This is the no scared room. It's chill. It's chill. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What? Nothing. Hey, this is not <laughs> scared. I don't like that. Hey, oh my door. god, what is that? Sorry, so what you see? A spider? Is that a is that a giant ass spider? What is it? It might be fake. If it's not fake, I'm gonna die. Dude, that's not real. We're leaving it for this. That's not real. That's not real. <laughs> I don't think it is. Dude, by the way, when you jumped, I got behind you and held your shoulder. <laughs> I'm not scared in here. Look at this. Nice room. Can you give me some light? <laughs> oh, dude, this isn't scary. This is the chill room. Uh. Um, now all we have to do is bar the door closed so we're locked in. So we will do that. Oh, I'm good on that. <laughs> okay. Well, don't make it so close that we can't even get out of here if we want to. Did it just break off? I don't think so. <laughs> I think we're stuck in here. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Let's set up the no scared room. I actually literally just heard something and I'm not just doing that. It sounded like a bone, yes. Alright, let's set up the no scared room. You're Chill. scared, I'm the one that's no, gotta No, I'm not scared, I'm so No, scared. no, I said if you're scared, I'm the one that's gotta have my back to that. <laughs> well, you're talking. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you're taking your No, seat. Andrew, you don't have your back to that. You have your back. To that. Five floors of that. I can't even. Let's set up the no scared room, because we're gonna need <laughs> it. It's a good idea, yeah, yeah. Alright. No scared room, nothing scary is allowed in here. No nuns or ghosts or demons are allowed to. Enter this room and slit our throats in the dark! Oh god! Welcome, Andrew. Welcome to the room that's gonna be the chill place. Yeah. Okay, let's set it up! See ya! <laughs> Did that turn off? Did you, why'd you do that? Did you do that? Yeah! You were just thinking? It. Yeah, I'm sorry. The fact that my <laughs> reflex is to grab your arm and hide behind you isn't uh, great. Yeah, I don't like It's not good for me either. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. I chose a good room for the no scare room, right? <laughs> uh, maybe keep it out here then. Not in that. There was a little bit of a footstep in there, but it's okay. Whoa, what the heck? What happened? 
Uh, I'm not even kidding, but I just heard like a weird little <laughs> glitching noise from the camera that I've never heard this before. This is what I experienced. Dude, if I start having actual technical problems with the camera, I'm not going to know what to do because that's what I'm focusing on that's not keeping me scared is that I'm looking at the camera. But when that starts messing up... You're going to have to focus on that pretty intensely. <laughs> okay, no, this is fine, dude. This is what we're doing. I'm sure it was just a um, footstep-like sound, and it's fine. This is the most scary, so we're just going to set this up. This looks so scary. <laughs> Dude, you have to understand, I'm just peering into the darkness of a room that we just heard a footstep in, or something. Oh, take it easy, Andrew. Oh, yeah. Hey, lighten up. <laughs> okay. You think this is called the freaked out room? No, sir. So if there's anyone in here, we're going to give you a movie to watch. Charlie's Angels is on the roster. <laughs> no! Isn't this fun? Wait, did you buy a knockoff DVD player? No, Andrew. Does it even I, say DVD? It says EVD. <laughs> People get the general idea, okay? Already having some focus problems. Well, that's because it's capturing other faces. <laughs> well, you, dude, you're not in focus at all, and I'm like, dude, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Huh? Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> uh, lightening up the place. Whoa, dude. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, it turned off. Did you not like it? Dude, wait, are you kidding me? When did it turn off? I just turned my back to it for two seconds. No. Okay. Are you serious? I promise that it touched Are me. Are you serious? Promise. You really didn't? Promise it. Weren't you filming me? No, I turned my back because I was about to say, whoa, it's crazy that the lights don't show up in this no, room. No, no, I do not do that. Okay. Back in action. Okay, if that ghost wants to turn off these lights, let's just say you have a lot more work to do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, we'll just start with one. We'll throw one light in there. And it instantly went out. No! And some weird noise from the camera. Where is it? It's fine. Throw another one in there to get a little bit of light in that room. <laughs> Throw another one in there to get a little bit of light in that room. Hey, now that's a festive room. <laughs> well, yeah. that's great. Okay, you ever seen one of these? Okay. <laughs> Play a little bit of music in here. Decor like this in a in in, in decades. Oh, Andrew, look at that. Charlie's Angels one or two. Two. Okay. This is exactly what we need. It's my costume song. You're putting that stuff on? Yeah. I feel like I should wear something, right? Like this. You're gonna start sweating like crazy, man. So maybe just this? Yeah. Okay, okay, I believe. This is an EMF reader, and there's no electricity in this entire building, so if anything goes off, it'll be a, a, a ghost energy, apparently. We'll just pray to God that it doesn't make a sound. How about that? Okay, Andrew, that's for you. Okay, so this is the not scared room. Easy breezy, <laughs> and we are good. Now we just continue this way. I'll show you the first floor, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, Benjamin can just do his own thing. Goodbye, safe room. Hello, St. Ignatius. What do you think of that? Oh, I did hear something down there, so that's something. I say we take a look. I don't know what's scarier, me going first and me being the last one. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, so what's the plan? I just want to go down here because, jeez, that closed weirdly. It really did. It's freezing on it. Is 
is this? Well, I don't know. But this is an actual um, tunnel that goes to the morgue. Jeez. Nah. Should I go in there? Leave me out here alone? No, man. I want to take a look. Would you be okay alone in here if I went in? Uh... All right, I'm just gonna go in Dude, there. I took the light down? I can't. What's that smell? Well, this is a tunnel to a morgue. Are you really going in there? I'm just gonna take a look. Where are you going? I just wanna see where it goes. I get scared I'm coming in there. You don't wanna come in here. I never been in a more scarier moment in my life than this. Okay, so if I were to go through here, it would go all the way to the morgue. But we have the key, so thank God I don't have to do that. Okay, I am gonna take a picture though. Upstairs, yeah. Back up. One second, let me figure out this. Yeah. Wait, wait, shine your flashlight in there. I'm sure it's nothing. Go in the middle. Yeah, sure it was nothing. That's gross, man. No. No. That wheel moves, you know I'm sprinting, right? Move it. There's someone in it. But she said for some reason, this was one of the most haunted locations in the place, was this bathroom on the first floor, men's bathroom on the first floor, so this guy. <laughs> what was that noise? That no, 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 no. Why am I walking over there like it's comforting? Like I walked away just- Wait, what was that noise? Was that the door? Dude. Stop it. That thump above us? That was literally a thump. Like a big one. Wait. What? Wait, stop. Listen. Dude, am I, I'm just... What? I don't know if the camera picked that up, but this noise that I just heard through my headphones was very, very, very specific. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear anything out here. No, 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 no. It was like in the camera, which is... I'm like hot. Like my whole neck is like hot now. Yikes, Andrew. Wait, 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 wait. The bathroom stall. You don't want to see in that toilet. <laughs> That's all. Dude, it's doing it again. In your earphones? Yeah. What does it sound like? It's like gears turn like... It never ever does that. I'm not even just saying that, obviously. I know everybody could just say anything, but... Where's your ghost thing? Wait, what the heck? What, what, what? What'd you hear? Dude, you're scaring me. My name, but it sounded like it came from behind me. Where's your ghost thing? Where's your ghost thing? Where's your ghost thing? I know this is all specific, but this is what is going on. Anyone in this bathroom? The camera keeps on making that noise again. Oh, what if we turn off the lights, even the camera one? You heard that, right? Yeah. Like a knock? Yeah. All right. Is 
So the higher up we go, the more haunted it is, yeah. Floor two. Wow. What? What? No, when you said that, it just again, it sounded weird. Okay. Resident Evil. The heck ass. was that? What? Me walking up the stairs? No. What are you talking about? Sound like a woman who went, meh. Oh, Andrew. I'm not, dude. Ugh. I'm focused on filming. I'm not really. Well, it's, what's scary to me is that you're in headphones hearing like ultra noise sensitivity. I have very bad hearing in general. I mean, <laughs> how often with you do I say, what, what, what? <laughs> a little something there, too. Oh, this place. That was the first floor. Yeah. Dude, we just. Elevating is like not it. Elevating, didn't someone say something earlier about the elevator too? It's like something about getting higher up in the building is bad. Anyway, let's go to floor two, three, four, and then the other one. <laughs> Wait. Dude, you're like barely going up the stairs and like four things has happened. I'm gonna keep on stepping. Trying to sleep and stuff. Sleep! In here. Andrew. Well, you said people are stuck in time, right? Oh, to the hospital, people are resting, right? Dude, what you just said is so scary. I don't want to be disrespecting anybody's vibe, which is a weird thing to say. Okay. Yeah, I'll be. That's floor two. What's the vibe? I don't know. Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know at all. Turning off the light is something. Okay, well. How about we walk onto the floor that we just heard the massive thud? Also, this is going to sound really weird, but I looked up there and I felt like I wanted to scream. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh, oh what is God. that? Oh, Dude! That's the door, it's the door, it's okay. It's the door. Yeah, I know, it's the door shutting behind us. It's a bat. Oh, it's a, are you okay? It's a bat, dude. That was insane. Yeah, did it get you? I don't know. I was, it was a little too dark. Now I'm thinking about making it brighter. So, oh, oh, get the. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh wait, good, wait, good. Hang on, hang on. Just, just the ground. Just hold the ground. on, hold on. Everything just happened once. That was insane. I this know. floor is like, don't come up here. Oh, okay. All right, no, 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 no. I love that. I don't think that bat's coming back. Dude, it's coming back. He's trying to warn us. Dude, if we got the bat on camera for a second, he's just like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like holding up his Instagram app. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell was this, by the way? Oh, yeah, a little bit of movement. My hands are a little sweaty. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah. Because when we just walked onto the second floor of an abandoned a hospital, a bat attacked us while a ghost swifted by us and set off our EMF. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Camera's doing weird stuff again. Cabin feels freaking occupied as hell. Oh, dude. Stepping in here is not the move. Anyway, you first. Hello? Say, anyone in this room? Um, are you kidding? You heard that. It was a grum- it was a grum- it was like a rumble, like a low- Stuff you're hearing in there, Andrew? No, I'm serious. I'm terrified to hear what you're hearing because, like I said, A, Oh, it's me. It's okay. I will always expose it when it's me. Trust me. A, I have bad hearing. Oh, you don't, B, you, don't you have know. ultra sensitive. Is it just my mind? Sorry, okay. This room is terrifying. Say, anyone in this room? Um, are you kidding? I don't like room A. <laughs> One bit. Whoa, easy. Oh. Oh. No, don't leave me in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dude, floor two is disgusting. That way. Fuck. No. What is that? No, no, no. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, 
Dude. I opened up that, the door back there. No, like, no, 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 no. I still hear it. I don't know what to, what do you want me to do? I don't even know where to go. I mean, there's stuff crumbling everywhere. I opened up a door when I was like, that whole room was falling apart. Maybe it yeah, was Yeah, the just... crumbling along with the uh, wood sounding like it was creaking because of the weight that was on it. Yeah, yeah. There's not a human in here. It's dead silent. You would hear someone like, you oh, know, yeah. anything. You hear it's someone dead. breathing. So it's like, it feels weirdly safe because you're like, well, there's no humans. And if there are, I have a taser. <laughs> but it is interesting. That was, like, um, that made me feel. Disgusting. Very much so like Get Out. Well, we're only on floor two. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, no. Is it hot? Wait, I don't know. If we heard, I do. I feel like I clear out. If we heard that sound again from the hallway. No, I'm dipping. Okay. Okay. Whoa, wait a minute. Not me being jealous of the deep bathtub. Oh, yeah, you like tubs. I mean, come on. If anyone, if anyone died in that bed, I'm sorry. Cute blush pink color, though. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Oh, good. Good. More stairs. You remember how I said the green light was like more friendly? Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. No. Let me just try the green light. I mean, honestly, that is supposed to be more like friendly. Because the green light's supposed to be the one that. You like, want me to cut the light off? Just the green. Just we'll just we'll just film down the hallway for a sec with the green. Dude, light. I didn't even think. I didn't realize that we've been going through this whole place. And I had a light on this whole time. No, it's okay. We'll just try out the green light just for a second. I don't. It's not. I don't think anything will happen. Oh, dude, I feel this place. Anyone on floor two? I got more focused like that. Wait. <laughs> oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear something? I just feel like I, I am hearing a lot of stuff, but it's very, very, very subtle. I don't even want to go down there. I'm good. Whoa! What's up with that? What was that? I, I, my whole body is like, what am I? Oh, man. What was that? I have no idea. Hey. This was, it was coming from over here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, did you make a sound? You want to make a sound again? You know about mirrors, Andrew, and haunted locations and stuff? No. Well, they're supposed to be really evil. Jeez, oh. man. Dude, so what is happening in this room? Oh, man, I don't know. Okay. What? Dude, what is this wooden ladder doing here? What is that? We're leaving floor two. Whoa. Face tracking is going crazy. What? What is it? My face tracking the camera. I'm gonna try to take a photo with my phone. Oh, shit. What? Wasp. Bye. Bye, floor two. Somehow something's worse about the open door. I like feel like I would have rather opened it. It just feels awful. Yeah, here. no, this is a different. Wait, wait. Gosh. I mean, this is just like asking for it. All the days are here. Oof, dude, look behind us. Oh. oh no, without the flashlight. Wait, what is that? Wait, okay, dude, where are you? I'm right here. Jesus. Sorry, I don't mean to scare you. Sorry, I don't mean to scare you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, Rose's room. So this is um this is one that people talk a lot about. Oh, I just got Yeah, a draft. wait, 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 wait. No, you got a draft. I heard that little like noise. Oh, dude. I, something just went through me. Well, I hope that's not true because we got to go back home together. Dude, something. No, dude, there was a noise. There was a noise as soon as you said you felt something. That Wait, wait. Are you kidding me right what, now? What are you hearing? Are you kidding me? What are you right hearing? Now? What? That slow, pronounced wind sound in this still building? Wait, 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 don't leave me out here. Dude, this is a problem. You know what, maybe let's cut that light off. Just to give Rose a little less light. Hello, Rose. There are a lot of things. Hello, Rose. Beautiful name. People have left Rose some offerings. Oh. There. What? That room. Oh. Oh, that's Michael's room. Just a feeling, man. Yuck. It's 312. Wait, is that the, is that, is that the, with the window? I'm not sure. I need to look at it. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh, just think you see something? Yeah. Something in the window. Okay, alright. Alright. What? No, no. There was a knock again. Don't mind that, man. I'm feeling ill. Well, that's where you, uh. Just between those rooms, man. This feels so gross. Bye, Rose. Floor, right? Wait, do you see like the entrance to the nuns quarters or whatever? No. No. Whoa. What was that? Uh, camera's doing crazy stuff. Uh, Whoa, dude, dude, dude! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That door just closed on its own. I swear, dude. Jesus. Are you kidding me? What are we doing? Wait, wait, hold on, wait. Dude, dude, dude. What could have happened? There's nothing on the ground that was wedged in between. I thought that... Oh. Dude, it's over there again. You ever heard of holy water, mother? <laughs> I don't want to call it... No, 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 no. This was like a Catholic place. But, you know, here's a taste. <laughs> Asbestos just burns out my eyes. Dude. God. For real, though. I'm making jokes because I'm scared. That door shutting? I wish I had a camera right here, seeing that. You know what's funny? We're like stuck here because everything's going that way. So it's like we have to go past that. That's the door that closed right there. That is so scary. I'm trying to get doused with some YouTube priest holy water. <laughs> All right? No, 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 no. No, dude, that room. Well, now you're making me want to see if it looks a little bit more like where that picture was. Dude, you're gonna... Wait, is that it? Is that the room? Right there? Is that the window? No. Feel free to come back out in the hallway so I'm not stuck yeah, out right. here alone. It's funny, I feel like any one of 
the things that's happened here, we'd be like, oh, that's enough to have a scary experience. Yeah, yeah, we keep on going up, which is not it. Listen, I'm just going to face my fears. I don't care if nothing happens, but I want to at least try to step up to the nuns' quarters. I couldn't do it last time, man. I couldn't do it. It was disgusting. If my memory serves me correct, and I know it does, it's right through that and to the left. The nuns' quarter? Mm-hmm. It's in there. I saw a bat. There's bats in there, dude. What is that? Is somebody just talking? Just uh, freaking talking, man. Yes, definitely over there. Dude, that. What was that? What are you gonna do? Go there? Up the nuns' quarters with the bats? With the noises and the moaning behind you? Or right after the door snagging behind me? Yeah. Dude, if a bat flies at me, I can't. Can you just take a peek around the corner, please, up there? You know where we are. Just up there. Wait, what? Just what is it? Just, that's where I have to walk. No! Jesus! I'm gonna uh, answer if you don't mind. I'm gonna try to brave it alone, just for a bit. I just want to go up there, like alone for a bit. I've like had nightmares about this place. I just want to walk up there. Dude, what do you want me to do? I'm serious. What do you want me to do out here alone? Dude, I can't run my back to this. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna walk up there. Hmm. Not me unironically brandishing my holy water Fortnite gun. This is what it felt like last time. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I hated Andrew. <laughs> Do you wanna join me up here? Yeah, I don't wanna be alone. Hold on. This camera's really doing a bunch of weird stuff right now. I would literally squirt it with holy water, and I'm not joking. Are there bats up here? Dude, I can't deal with the bat I infestation of people. I don't think there's bats up here. I don't think there's bats up here. If they are, they're getting a little bat face full of holy water. What's that? I don't know. Dude, that, there's a vibe over there. That I do not know how to articulate. Did you hear that? Yeah. Whoa, dude, dude, no. This is like on another level. I feel like- Dude, I feel yeah, like, this is not it. I feel like I'm about to get shoved out. Peace. Jimmy Mitchell poster. Is there a cool nun living here? Maybe. That's when I said Joey Mitchell. That's kind of interesting. What if I do this? And what if I do this? No, no, no. That's not great, is it? Not into that. Wait. What? When you had the red light on, was that a growling noise that I heard? I hope not. Again, bad hearing. Man, this was a cool night. Cowboys? Oh, yeah. You would have been friends. Somehow I will say this room feels kind of safe. It feels really scary out there, but this room feels safe. Whoa, 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 something touching my head, okay? Dude, that is actually a thing here. You no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We'll leave, we'll leave. Say, you want to leave? Sure. We'll get out of here now, and uh, we have to go get out. I forgot about the no scared room, which was actually ironically too scary to access because we would have had to come down here again. Um, okay, so we'll go pack up and get out of here, but we're going to see the morgue before we go. Oh, Bat, bat, bat. <laughs> oh, oh, bat. Jesus. Like, oh, Jesus.
this. All right, take it easy, buddy. You're gonna get some holy water. Andrew, let's just run and I'll squirt if I am. No. I am staying in this weird corner. Andrew, come on. All right, fine. Andrew, I'll squirt him in his bat face. Where are you gonna go? Where, where are we going? Left. We can just run down and then go to the left. Oh, yeah, running the... down. And... Well, we'll just run and then go to the left. That's where the no scab room is. We just gotta get out of here. This... I'm gonna squirt him if we see him. No, don't squirt him. Don't even worry about it. I got this. I got this. If you see the bat, it's getting squirted. The board's still on there, which is good. All right, I'll just pack these things up and get out of here. Well, when I say get out of here, I mean enter the morgue. Yeah. I've never enjoyed fresh air more. Can you see that, Andrew, that house up there? I feel like nurses used to live, apparently. Before we go, I just thought we'd check out the morgue a little bit. That door right there, Andrew, they left it unlocked for us. How would you want to go in there after all of that? I really don't, but I at least need to see it. I just need to see it. Dude, wait, I just... Oh, oh, Jesus. What is it? A leaf. Oh, those are scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And going in the morgue. It's the morgue, Andrew. Why would you do this? I'm addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> You're running around scared of your mind. <laughs> Literally. Cut to me just like hiding behind <laughs> you, grabbing your arms. Dude, how do we know no one's in here? No. Yeah. Okay, what if I find a cute shirt? Oh. I'm not against that. Look. Dude, put that down. The shoes. The shoes of the fisherman? Dude, no, 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 Why? Why not? What is this? Dude, that's like a, is that like a cremated, like, thing or something? Oh my god, do you think it could be? Dude, put that down. Put it down. Whoa, I just saw something moving. Oh, it opened. Here, it's really dusty in here. I don't know if we should be in here. Andrew, no one ever got hurt from old chemicals that they used in buildings. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. Is it the whole point of that thing so that you don't touch everything with your hands? Oh. This makes me miss Christmas so bad. What is it? It's a Christmas card. Barely. Look at that. Little cat looking at a fire. Uh -huh. Ooh, cool old morgue equipment. Dude. I'm seeing all these things that I just want from my home. <coughs> okay, someone liked their burger bunch. Like, look at how many there are. <laughs> there are a lot. Oh, hospital gowns. Dude, all right. Oh, God. Oh. Why is the door rattling so much? All right. Go! That was like, dude, I was like looking in there and just like a thing just fell off. That's disgusting. That was. Oh, Great. <laughs> we're closing it. We're closing yeah. it. Okay, bye forever. Bye forever. Oh, Jesus. We need good vibes right now, man. <laughs> really good vibes. Ooh, donuts. Did you say donuts? <laughs> I'm thirsty. Oh shit. Drink? Wait a minute. Oh! 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 Why are you acting like it's not clean? Dude, you got... by a priest, Andrew. Open up! I'm good. <coughs> okay. Yeah. You're dehydrated, Andrew. Open up! <laughs> Open no! Up. Open up your Get it away! Get a little bit I don't want your little weird inside. sprinkle and then you got it from God knows where. Water, and then you got it from God knows where. I got it from the tap water. It's the same! I sure do hope that you had fun today with all of this. I got a little tired of sitting in the dark room editing all those scary things and I needed to switch it up. So I tried to think of the polar opposite of sitting in a dark room and editing scary things and this is what I thought of. Uh, pool pancakes with a couple friends. <laughs> I got quite a motley crew here and I don't know if you could tell but to my six o'clock, someone's a little bitter that they didn't get possessed in St. Ignatius. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you oh so much for joining this adventure today. Thank you so much to Andrew Swicky for miraculously filming and contributing to this video in so many ways. And thank you so much to Discord for sponsoring this video. Join me in a morgue. Let's talk about stuff from this video. Let's talk about scary stories. Let's talk about all the terrifying things. Again, that's July 15th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the link for that is in the description. And hopefully I don't get killed by a, a, a demon in there. And of course, shout out to St. Ignatius and Austin Storm, the owner, and Val Gregory, the a wonderful woman who gave us the keys and gives tours in there. I want to I want to tell you all uh, that St. Ignatius, this hospital, Austin, the owner, just started an Indiegogo called Save St. Ignatius Hospital, by the way, and he's working on restoring the entire place. He's such an awesome guy. It's such an awesome thing that they're doing over there. So I'm going to put the link to that in the description and you guys can check that out. You can even cop yourself some cool St. Ignatius swag. You can even get your name immortalized in St. Ignatius Hospital. Check out that link to the Indiegogo. As terrifying as that building is, it's also incredibly, 
incredibly cool. And uh, and by the way, let me know if you saw anything in that footage that I missed. There was so much in that footage that I probably missed. So hit me up in the comments. I, I, I've uploaded some creepy videos before and people have pointed things out that have made me uh, terrified and also amazed that I didn't see them the first time. So if you have anything like that, throw them in the comments because I'll be curious. Love you. Thank you for joining. This was an absolute blast. Go explore spooky locations with your friends. It's a wonderful time. Tell me about it in the comments if you have. Tell me about a time you've explored a creepy place in the comments, please. I want to know about that. I always want to know about that. Oh my God, I'm going to eat it like a taco. Anyways, ghosts are real. Life is crazy. Love y'all. And until- Oh man, my chopstick fell in the pool. <laughs> Okay, love you. Adios. Ghost to real. Life is crazy. Tell me something spooky in the comments. Bye!